I've got seven inches for you. Hi everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you my collection of 7 inch singles. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg of my 7 inches, these are more recent purchases, some of them I've still had quite a while but um, the bulk of my collection from when I was young is in a bag somewhere up in the loft which eventually I will find and bring down and clean up and when I do I will show you them. This is the collection that I've got in my room which is mainly stuff I've bought in the last mm, still 20 years odd but most of them more recently than that. Um, yep yeah, so here we go. So this is Bad Blood by Supergrass signed copy and this is on sort of peach probably I would call that slightly marbled vinyl. Uh, this is one of their later singles uh, from Diamond Hoo Ha. I can't remember. It might have been a record store.co.uk purchase. Can't remember. A long time ago. Uh, a more recent one. This is Talking to You by Izzy Bizu. Love this song and she's fantastic. Great voice. This was a record store day exclusive in 2017 and I bought it on eBay. Not long after. Um, the exclusivity involved it being signed and this is just on black. Yeah this is just on black. That's a great, as I say, great song, great artist. This is a copy of Shout by Lulu. This was a release done in 2015. Um, I think it was 2015, certainly the remix of the song on here is from 2015. Uh, she released an album and you could buy it as a deal with Shout on 7 inch. It's got just the original Lulu and the Lovers on that side and on this side is the 2015 version and it's signed by Lulu across the label. This is a signed single of China in the Sink by the Lost Boys. Lost Boys are a local band who I saw supporting the Blue Tones back three or four years ago and I've picked up all their stuff ever since. They're sort of Brit boppy but they're only young lads, uh, probably late teens I would have thought, maybe early 20s. Um, unfortunately a few of them have signed in a red pen that doesn't really show up very well. Um, that's just on black so I won't bother showing you it. Uh, limited to 150 copies and it's number 19. This is a Kate Nash signed 7 inch. Um, side A is later on by Kate Nash then side B is um, Mac Ruby Woo by Bridget Aphrodite and everybody's trying to write a comedy by Sister Lovers. There were two acts who supported her on tour and this was a 7 inch was a, a special 2010 UK tour 7 inch. Um, I got this through Kate's website and Kate signed it. Again it's just on black so I won't show you it. Uh, didn't go much on the sport band tracks to be honest. They were okay but nothing great but Kate's brilliant. This is um, Sorry by Madness. Signed, it's a, a distressed style sleeve. This isn't, you know, it's not in terrible condition. This is how it's designed to look but signed by all the band on the outside which is nice. Always you know, Madness classic band. Sorry, it's a very good song for one of their later ones. In fact, a lot of their later stuff's very good, but people don't know it. But yeah, sorry, great track. And I think this is the last signed one. Um, this is Second Sight by Cooler Shaker. Love Cooler Shaker. I think they're hugely underrated because of all the <sighs> Crispin Mills um, outspokenness in their early days. Sort of put a lot of people off of them, but they are a great band. Another great song. I think this is just black. Yeah, it's just black. But signed on the back by the band. And the drummer has even drawn a little picture of himself on drums, which is cool. So that's the signed bits and pieces. And then what have we got? This is Y and Superstar by Belinda Carlisle. Y is an original track 
Superstars cover of a Carpenters track. This was a 7 inch that came with a record store day release of her latest album whose title I was completely gone but when I do my 12 inches you will see but this is just on black. Then we have first of a few princes, uh, Thieves in the Temple is 1990, no, yeah, 1990 single from the Graffiti Bridge soundtrack. Uh, Thieves in the Temple on the A side, Thieves in the Temple part two on the B side. This was Record Store Day exclusive, I think this was 2017. Uh, I'm trying to see if it says on there anywhere. No, I think it was 2017, if not it was 2018. Uh, a 7 inch picture disc of Little Red Corvette and the B-side is 1999. Okay, this is an early single by The Divine Comedy. Um, I picked up a load of these through, ordered them directly through Satanta which was a record label Neil was on um, for first Five albums. Uh, the A side is Lucy, and the and the other side we've got double A is Pop Singer's Fear of a Pollen Count, and triple A was I was born yesterday. It's all tracks from his first album, Liberation. His bears. Another Prince picture disc. This is Let It Go uh, from the Come album in 1994. Uh, a side is an edit of Let It Go and the B side is Solo, also from the Come album. Oh, let's rearrange these a bit, make it easier. Okay, this is Dancing by Kylie. If you watched my Golden album unboxing, you'd have seen this. This is a 7 inch, it came as part of a package. It's got Dancing on the A side and Rolling on the B side. Okay, this is a track um, wrapped in silver on, and I bleed. It's a double A side. Uh, I've never quite known who to credit this to. I've got it because my friend did backing vocals on it um, when we were at school and she has signed it for me, Simone Laraway. Um, hello Simone if you're watching this. I don't know if Vital Signs is the label. Yeah, Vital Signs is the label. I presume it's just credited to D Hill, but it's, it's not really credited to anybody. So I don't really know who to credit that to. But that's, I've got that because my friend sings on it. I can't, I'm not sure I've ever listened to it, to be honest. Sorry. Uh, this is a 7 inch, it came with Mojo magazine. Uh, it's a reggae one. Uh, of the A side is City Too Hot by Lee, no that's the B side. The B side is City Too Hot by Lee Scratch Perry. The A side is Kentucky Skank by Lee Scratch Perry. Again, not entirely sure I've ever listened to that. Uh, Absent Friends by Divine Comedy from their 2004 album of the same name. And the B side is Anthem for the Bored Youth. Uh, another early Divine Comedy, this. Shows how early it is, it's sort of a self-printed cover, just folds out like that, it's got all the details on a sticker inside. It's Indulgence number two. Um, there are two volumes, Indulgence number one, can't remember if I've got or not, um, had the A and B side and this is the C and D side. Um, the D side is a drinking song, which is one of my favourite fun comedy songs. And the seaside is when the lights go out all over Europe and tonight we fly and they're both from Promenade which is the second album by the Divine Comedy. Oh, so long since I've listened to them I can't remember if these are actually different versions from the album or not. I've had these at least 15 years. Uh, another Divine Comedy is Bad Ambassador from a Regeneration album from 2001. Uh, another of my favourite Divine Comedy songs. B-side is a live version of Life on Earth, which is a track from Fandy Siècle. Um, it's limited edition number 1166. Uh, no, that's just on black. No need to show you that. 
Okay, this is interesting. This is a, a fairly recent release from Robbie Williams um, from his last Swing album, Swings Both Ways. Uh, this came, it's, it's a replica or a version of a record bag from his youth and it came sealed with a sticker and then seven inches designed to look a bit distressed the a side is shine my shoes which is on the album and the b side is you got old featuring johnny wilkes then it comes in a nice inner sleeve with robbie's logo on it's a good thick it's black but it's you know it's a good thick disc um some of these were signed and it was random as to who got the signed ones unfortunately i didn't but that was the main reason i ordered it was to see if I've got the signed one but the b-side you got old with Johnny Wilkes um, isn't on the album so it's the only way to get that so that's nice uh, another divine comedy this is Generation Sex from Fantasy Eckler uh, b-side is uh, exclusive to this postcard to Rosie uh, bought this at the time of release in 1998 this is an EP I want it to be easy for you by Paul Pilot. Paul Pilot um, produced a lot of Duke Specials records, played with him quite a lot of times. Really good album, uh, album, really good EP this, really enjoyed it. Um, a side, I Love Your Bones and Easy For You, and B side, Chet Song and Uncle Tooth's Blues. Uh, sort of a bluesy ish music, uh, but not, you know, not southern blues, but yeah, really good. That Divine Comedy, this is uh, limited, I think you could only get these through the website. This is um, from uh, Victory for the Comic Muse, which was released in 2006. Uh, Lady of a Certain Age, which is, again, one of their best tracks. Uh, B-side is Lily Marlene, the old classic. And from the same era, these don't fit in the sleeves, that's why they're not in the sleeves. Um, this is Diva Lady, B-side is Elaine, and this came... Here, uh, this will fold out. The whole design for the album and everything was stamps. And this came with a little fold out. And they're in a separate sleeve inside, which is nice. And just going to double check Lady of a Certain Age, but that didn't have a poster, I don't think it did. It feels quite thick, so I should double check. No. Just just quality vinyl. And also from that period, uh, to die a virgin, and the B-side is long slow suicide. And again, this has got the fold-out poster. It's quite long this video, but there's not too many more. Uh, back to Old School Prince, 1987's If I Was Your Girlfriend from Sign of the Times. B-side of that is Shockadelica, which is credited to Camille, but that's just Prince with a speeded up voice. Uh, this is the re recent, as in this year, 7-inch of Prince's version of Nothing Compares to You, which coincidentally I'm also wearing the t-shirt of. Um, so this is his demo version of a track before he gave it to the family and long before it was recorded by Sinead O'Connor. Um, the A side is an edit and the B side is a full length version. There's not a huge difference between the two, I think it's just a bit more sax on the B side version. This was a limited version of 7 inch, just standard black vinyl. There was a coloured vinyl that was only available through the Electric Fetus store in Minneapolis on Prince's birthday this year. Um, I, think was, I want many copies. Can't remember how many it was limited to do, but it wasn't many at all. I highly doubt I'll ever get that. Um, there is another version which you will see in a minute. This is Statuesque by Sleeper, the limited edition including a free photo poster. Uh, interesting design on that, it folds out like that. And then this is the only problem with the design, it's a bit awkward getting it out. This slips in like that. And um, then the poster which was on my wall for many years. So it's got the blue tech marks in the corner. But that's the poster. Uh, love Sleeper. Seen them twice live this year, seeing them again later. Um, having 
always missed out on seeing them live when they were originally around since they've reformed. I'm finally getting to see them, so I'm making the most of it. Uh, Statuesque A side, B side, she's a sweetheart. Limited edition of 10,000, this is number 3668. Uh, this is a recent release. Um, I've spoken on other videos how I love Count Arthur Strong. This is a uh, 7 inch released with Anita Harris of um, Something Stupid, the, the song that you all know. And the B side is Arthur's version of Lovely Day, which just needs to be heard to be believed. Um, it's got a unique passcode on my back, that's what I'm covering up. It's got the lyrics on my back. Uh, very funny, but but good as well. Uh, this is Autumn Song by Manic Street Preachers, which was from ah, D -D 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 -D. trying to remember Sending the Tigers, possibly. I'm trying to remember what album that was from. from Frank's gone dead. This came with a big poster, which you will see in a, a later video, um, that was signed with the lyrics. Which is the main reason I ordered this. Uh, it's nothing, yeah, it's just on black. Uh, so it's an awesome song on the front and with Vorticists on the B. Love Manix. Got a lot of their stuff you will see over time. Uh, Saturdays. This came in a bundled. I've got loads of their signed CDs, which you will see when I show off those. Um, and if you watch my Banana Rama video, you'll know that I rate Saturdays, but I don't think they quite peaked before they went on there long hiatus. Uh, but this is all fired up. The A side is the alias radio edit and the B side is a Space Cowboy remix and this is on pink. Clear, sort of a, a clear-ish. Transparent, that's the word I was looking for. Pink vinyl. Okay, oh, I don't want to get in there. I'm shaking. Next, four or five more. Uh, Next is Lucky Day by Nicola Roberts, formerly of Girls Aloud, who are my favourite girl group of all time. And Nicola, she's hugely talented. She recorded the album that this came from, and then she sort of stopped recording, which is a shame. Um, she's done a lot of writing for lots of artists, including um, Cheryl Cole. But she's hugely talented. Uh, again, this was a bundle that came with a signed CD single, which you will see when I show off those. And um, this is on green vinyl, solid. Yeah, solid green. That one. So it's, it's Lucky Day and the Ed Wilder remix of Lucky Day on the B side. Uh, another Prince picture disc. This is Controversy. This was released uh, at the time of the hits for B sides. Uh, B, B side on this is a remix of the future. Um, so, nice picture by Herb Ritz of Prince on the front, um, B is just the info. Uh, let's show you this, which is another, this is the other version of Nothing Compares to You, picture disc which was only available um, from Paisley Park, Prince's Studios, the estate, uh, and that came with a t-shirt that I'm wearing. So exactly the same track listing as the normal 7 inch. That's the front and the back. Then penultimate one is Coloured Kisses by Martika, who I adore. Uh, this is the special limited edition red vinyl Valentine pack. We have a space who you could write you who you were sending it to, which obviously I didn't do. Uh, there's a B. I do like that picture. Uh, the B-side is Pride and Prejudice, which is another great track, from both from the Martika's Kitchen album, um, where a lot of it was done with Prince, although neither of these tracks were. But Cut of Kisses is particularly... Actually both are really good tracks. And as it says, this is on red vinyl. This is my own sleeve that I'll put on it. It's ever so slightly marbled, if you hold it to the light, which I've only just noticed. But yeah, that's Coloured Kisses by Martika. And then last up is a little box set of... Oh. Uh, Pollinator, which is Blondie's last album. Got that in multiple formats. I can't remember if I've done a video. I've got a feeling it was before I started doing my unboxing videos. Um, so I'm, you will see them at some point anyway in various videos. But this is 
set, limited edition six piece vinyl set with art cards. So what they've done, these are the art cards. And then they split the album over one, two, three, six, seven inch singles. All on black, I believe. Yeah, the album's on red, which you will see at some point. So they split it across, but the sixth one, because of the number of tracks, has the album on one side, and the B side is an etching of the Pollinator logo. Trying to catch. There you go, I think that's probably the best view to see it. So that's cool. Yep, so that's the seven inches I have downstairs. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.